is WOW, World of Wrestling Magazine TV Weekly. And now, here's your host, WOW Magazine's Editor-in-Chief, Bill Wonderful Willie Apter. And for WOW, the World of Wrestling Magazine, this is Editor-in-Chief Bill Apter. Great to be back here on Wildside and Worldwide. And why the lid, Wonderful Willie? Well, don't want to talk about it this week. I'll get to it on uh, another occasion. Huh? And yeah, I really don't want to talk about it right now. You know, one of the questions that people are always asking me, they say, wonderful Willie, Bill Apter, was wrestling better in the mid-80s or in the mid-90s or better than it is in 2000 today? And I, I ask a lot of people that question. It's great today in the year 2000. Of course it is. But mid-80s, there were some huge stars. I mean, Ric Flair was a major, major superstar. Magnum TA was around. There was another guy who feuded with Magnum T.A., who everyone remembers. Well, he dropped into our studio just uh, a few days ago, and uh, wrestling in the year 2000 versus wrestling, let's say, in the mid-'80s. Let's turn the tape over to this guy I'm sure you recognize. Gentleman, Nikita Koloff here, retired from the business of wrestling in 1993, moving into full-time ministry and business, with Koloff for Christ Ministries. And I tell you, Bill After, my good comrade and friend, asked me a question. He said, ponder this if you will. Would you take the year 2000 and what professional wrestling brings to the television set now and compare it to 1980 or the decade of the 80s in your era? Interesting question. One of the summaries I bring as I ponder that question is, in the 80s, wrestling was just that. It was wrestling with a flavor of entertainment. In the year 2000, it's entertainment, and you may see some wrestling. In fact, recently I was reading a USA Today article, which in that study of 52 weeks of wrestling, they had 34 minutes of actual wrestling time out of a two-hour show. You know, I reflect back to my, my era, and I think I never wrestled Ric Flair less than 34 minutes, let alone 34 minutes in an entire two-hour television show. And in fact, I remember many of my legendary matches with Magnum T.A., or as I commonly used to call him, Magnum T.A., Nakita going to destroy you. You know, I think back to those matches, 30, 40, 50 minute matches. And I'd have to say it's apples and oranges. There is no comparison. That decade, as it is told to me by many, many fans, as I travel the continent, speaking in churches and business communities and schools across the world, they have shared with me that, that there, in fact, is no comparison. That decade was almost a decade of uniqueness in the entire wrestling profession uh, of the many, many years that it has been portrayed. So as I look back and compare those two, I would, I would simply say the business of today is not the business it was of my day. Yes, they have made tremendous strides. Yes, they have brought a whole different twist to the business. But when I really look at the deep down roots of it, it's almost like the art form of the business that was once there has been lost. Thank you, Comrade Nikita Kolo. Great man, great wrestler. I'd love to see him tag team with Goldberg. Can you see the two of them coming out of all the explosives and the, uh, the smoke and everything? Ah, boy, that would be awesome. In the meantime, fans, don't forget to pick up the latest issue of WOW magazines currently at the newsstand. Don't be locked out. Don't go over to that newsstand when the guy says, Sorry, we're all sold out. You could have gotten there just a little bit sooner. For WOW Magazine, this is Editor-in-Chief Bill After, and maybe I'll explain the reason for this next segment, or maybe the one after that. Anyway, we'll see you at the matches. Well, if your car's on the ropes and it's not getting you around like you need to be getting around, you need to come down at Greg's Automotive Repair. Greg and his team of qualified mechanics specialize in all types of engine repair, from general diagnostics to engine rebuilds. They've even got you covered on your AC and electrical repair. So if you need back on the road fast and right, you need to call Greg's Automotive Repair.
a night of wrestling that Nashville will talk about forever. Kojo 2000. And now you can own your copy of Kojo 2000 just by sending 1995. We pay shipping to Kojo 2000. P.O. Box 60688, Nashville, Tennessee, 37. Pull a fast one on up.